So, folks, how you doing, hey? We are great, and actually, right now, you just have Jennifer Christians on his way. We had to take a, a, a slight pause, and uh, and he's coming right back in. But you have me for oh, the meantime. Jennifer, brilliant, you know. Yeah. Don't let him come in and spoil the thing, That's you know right. what I mean? We'll have our own private show, uh, Exactly. So, Sugarland, I have to ask you, are you a country act or not? And you've, you've probably had your head melted over this. That's okay. No, you know what? I mean, not to be um, cryptic, but I tend to want to turn that question back. What do you think we are? And if I need to take responsibility for it, I can, but I'm more interested no, no, we, in how I mean, you oh, see it. Okay, let's say you, you came to our notice through country circles, but we listened mm-hmm. to the, the new album in the office the other night, and we all said, that sounds like a rock band, that sounds like a pop yeah. band, that sounds like this, that sounds like that. Nobody mentioned country. Interesting. So, you know, I think um, we are all of those things. We are lucky enough to have a home at Country Radio in the States. Clearly, what that means across different cultures is different. Um, and clearly, we have a, a group of varied and diverse influences. So at the same time, while there is country in there and always has been, there has always been other influence, you know, that, that you will see in there as well. Oh, so yeah. are I mean, we you, a country you, band? I don't know. You can hear it on the album. I mean, you, you're going to yeah. be whatever people decide it is, to be honest. There but but the thing is, my advice would be do away with the pigeonholes and the labels and the preconceptions and this go and listen to the album. Say. No, seriously, it's a, it's a brilliant album. Well done. Thank you. Thank uh, you. And Christian just joined us, by the way. Hello. Oh, we were having a great time till you got here. <laughs> We were I, that's a what private, I heard. I heard that you, were, you, were the, you were asking the "is it country" question, <laughs> and you know well, what? I, you you, I, you missed that. Let me you know. let me give you my two cents, and yeah. it's very short. Uh, it's not whether it's country or not. It's do you like it? Well, well that's what he just we, said. We, we yeah. got to there because no, as I said, okay, good. We were listening in the office. Uh, it was on Friday evening, and none, everyone in the office used a different description, but no one mentioned country. Yeah, you know, no, just, beautiful. But I mean, like again, the consensus was it's a good album, you know. So there, there you go. That's that's there all you, you want. Uh, because I, I mean, and again, reading on some of your history, did you um, try and copy the Clash for one of your guitar sounds? <laughs> well, of that, course I did. That would do away with a country label right yeah. away, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you'd think so, but you know, one of the the great things about uh, uh, bands like the Clash is that they were great writers. You know, they were able to yeah. write very simply and very directly about what they wanted to talk about. Yeah, and that, that's there was what no, the there best was, country music does. There was no messing around. There was an honesty. There was a heart on the sleeve mm-hmm. kind of approach, wasn't there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, and, and being honest matters if you're a country musician. Yeah. Well, no, that, that, that's good. As I say, uh, your appeal seems to be going sort of far beyond. I mean, what, what we would say over here, the, the borders of, you know, the country stations or the country shows, you know. So yeah. when I was asking around, I mean, I was amazed at the, the, the diverse kind of musical tastes among people who have your CDs. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? I, I think a lot of times, too, we as as artists tend to want to describe things in terms of do you like it or is it emotional or is it authentic, all of these wonderful adjectives and, and descriptions. And many times when you start talking about genre, a lot of that tends to be how to sell it and more about marketing. Yeah. So uh, I think, you know, just like you said, do you like it and is it good and that it is good regardless of how you how you label it? Yeah, no, I mean, it, it's it, it, it's it surprised me. I have to say, Good. just to admit, I was because uh, I was sitting down thinking, I'm not going to like this, and then uh-huh. I liked the first track, and I thought. That's okay. Second track. Well, huh? that's good. And you know, <laughs> and it was I was during the album to give me the bad track I was looking for. I didn't get it. You know, so good. Um, oh, good. If Thank you, if you. That's the highest know. compliment. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, if, again, I was guilty of having these preconceptions. Sorry. You know, well, you can use that as a review. Johnny Hero there looked for go. looked for a bad track and couldn't find <laughs> one. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it, man. Yeah. I'll take it. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm putting you through all these questions you've answered a million times. It was important. Do your worst, Important man. for Do me to, to sort it out. It. But I mean, you've sold eight million albums. That's terrific. It's great. We are lucky to uh, to have celebrated grateful. good successes there in the states. But what's cool about it is that now we're able to come here and really experience the discovery again, and that fire and energy of newness when you're just coming out, you know, and you're you're just putting your music out there for the first time. Most people only get to experience that once in the arc of their careers, and we're getting to experience it again here. So I, I am excited and thrilled. Yeah, it's, I suppose it's all, all the excitement. I, I mean, as you say, it's just that real buzz of things starting to kick mm-hmm. off. Mm-hmm. And yeah, mm-hmm. and you've got the whole, well, uh, maybe it's an onerous task of trying to, you know, convert a lot of people to your cause again. 
Well, but there's it, a lot of preconceived notions, as you found. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I, I think that one of the best ways to sow the story and and sow the music into a, a new culture is by people exactly like you, who, who go to your friends and say, you know, I really had this strange preconceived idea of what this was supposed to be, and it's incredible. Could you, you should, you should listen to this. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those albums, if someone had just given you a blank CD and said, stick that on in your car on the way home tonight, and you'd have mm. got to look and say, that's brilliant, who is it, you know? See, I love that's that. What, that's it's what we bit, want to do. It's a bit subversive, which I, I think is, is one of the intentions of art anyway, is subversion to, to really, um, you know, not wave a huge flag and say, this is who we are and we're exactly this and you're going to love it. It, it. It's really just to point a finger and say, hey, give a listen to this. Put this in your car and listen to it on the way home, just like you, you just said. And, and to be pleasantly surprised, hey, that's a gift. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, again, to put it in perspective for people who maybe haven't bought your stuff yet you kept the kings of leon and elton john off the right. billboard top slot with the incredible machine yeah that sounds so big you know it's so humbling to hear something like that it's almost hard to take but yes that is true i'll take it <laughs> no but I mean, seriously when you realize that that that's a fact and that's in musical history now you have to say well yeah yeah we're okay we're good yeah we ain't done so bad not bad it hasn't i mean the way it's taken off in the states i mean did it ever really shock you or did you think all along, we're good, people give us a chance, we will be up there? Well, we've always known that our show has been good. Our live show, And we've yeah. had a lot of confidence in that, and in, in a lot of ways it's really pulled us forward. Um, but as as more and more people have discovered us, you know, we, we people share what they discover in the U.S. about us. So, yes, in many ways we've been the underdog for a very long time. Uh, but it's just now it's to the point where... Uh, they're having to admit that we're actually there. <laughs> they're like, oh, yeah, and you're playing the 20,000-seat arena again. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. You know? Well, I mean, uh, so it's pretty neat. No, that, that, that's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great thing to, to achieve, to say. You know, making a lot of your critics sort of eat their words kind of thing. That, there must be a great no. satisfaction in that, you know? Yes, um, but the, al- the album itself, The Incredible Machine, th- there's a lot of different styles on it, different sounds. Is, is this the equivalent of Fleetwood Mac's Rumours, you know? Mm. To be honest, I was, uh, I was thinking of Fleetwood Mac listening to some of the tracks. I love it. We should be so lucky mm. if this were Fleetwood Mac's Rumours, you know? <laughs> we should be so lucky. <laughs> it's, it's early days. But, I mean, I, again, because they, they deliberately set out, you know, a couple of different styles, you know, and we'll do this and we'll do that. And, I mean, yours, I mean, there's not one style right through the album. It's, you know... I mean, if you're a rock fan, you're going to like some tracks. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You know, there's just different moods on it. Yeah, and I, and I'll tell you what, and not to get all yah yah and, you know, up there in the metaphysical, but I have described it like this before to say I have uh, described other past records and saying, oh, this is the record I've always wanted to make about other albums that we've done. And with this album, the way I described it was, mm, this was the record that I was destined to make, that oh, we oh. were destined to make. Um, because it does feel like something a little bit bigger than we are is is a part of it. So I don't. If, is, I is it rumors? Awesome! I would love it. <laughs> yeah, let's hope you sell fifty million copies. You know, and here's to that. Here's to that, <laughs> my friend. Well, listen, th- I can only endorse it and say to anyone, uh, go out and buy this. And if you don't like it, I there is something wrong with your ears. Seriously, I can only say that. Can you come that. with us over to the states? <laughs> we need you to come with us to the I states. I have a few people I'd love you to speak to. Yeah, no, seriously. And, and, and I told you, I opened the CD as the biggest cynic in the world, and I actually I said to the right. producer, "What am I doing interviewing these people? They're a country uh, band." Yes. I'm just being honest. So no good. I'm, I'm, glad. I'm now keeping the CD and I'm keeping it for myself. My dear, the strongest believers are the converts. They say, <laughs> and I love it. Uh, I'm like a, a, a forty a day smoker who now hits people smoking around them. You know that kind of there thing. You yeah, there, there you go. There you go. Well, listen. Uh, thanks, folks. Christian, Jennifer, and thanks for taking the time to speak to us. Good luck. Uh, people need to get the album in their collection, the incredible machine, and the single stuck like glue. Yeah. Yes, well, we thank you play so that much. For you now. Thanks a lot, folks. Cheers now. Thank you. Bye bye. Hope Bye-bye. to see you in November. Thanks now.